What the color of your urine says about your health. Have you ever thought about checking the color of your urine? Believe it or not, it can actually give you some hints about your health. The color of your urine can vary because of things like the medicine you take, the food you eat, or any health issues you might have. Usually, it's not a big deal. But sometimes it could be a sign that something's not right in your body that you did not know about. So checking your urine color once in a while can be a good idea. Ever wondered what healthy urine should be like? Well, it's pretty simple. Healthy urine is usually a light to medium yellow color, it looks clear, and it doesn't have a strong urine smell. Basically, it should be kind of pale yellow and not too stinky. Now, if you are not drinking enough water and you are getting dehydrated, your urine can turn into a darker yellow or even amber color. It might also start smelling like ammonia, which is not a good sign. But don't worry, if you start drinking more water, your urine should go back to its normal color and smell. So, here's the takeaway, check your urine regularly to know what's normal for you. If something seems off, like it's a weird color or smells really strong, it could be a sign that you need to drink more water. Stay hydrated. You can tell if your urine isn't normal for a few reasons. Usually, it's not a big problem, but sometimes it could mean something more serious. Here are some signs that your urine might not be healthy. Number one, dark yellow or amber urine. If your urine looks dark yellow or a kind of amber, it means you are seriously lacking water in your body. This is a sign that you should grab a glass of water ASAP. Seriously, just drinking one or two glasses can help a lot. When you see your urine turning back to a lighter, more normal yellow, that's your body telling you it's getting enough water again. So don't ignore the dark yellow urine. It's like a signal from your body saying, I need more water. Keep drinking water to keep your urine in the happy, light yellow zone. Number two, clear or colorless urine. If your urine is clear and looks like water, it's a sign that you have been drinking a lot of water, maybe even too much. Believe it or not, this can be a real thing. When you drink too much water, it messes with your body's balance of water, salt, and electrolytes, which are important for your health. This overhydration can lead to something called water intoxication. Usually, your kidneys can handle a bit of extra water, even if you drink more than you are used to. But if you go way overboard with the water, it can cause some serious health issues. Thankfully, really bad cases of overhydration are pretty rare. But in extreme situations, when your electrolytes drop too quickly, it can even be life-threatening. So, while it's essential to stay hydrated, remember to do it in moderation. If your urine starts looking like water, maybe ease up a bit on the H2O. Number three, pink or red urine. If you ever see your urine turning slightly pink, red, or kind of brownish, it might mean there's blood in it. When this happens, it's called hematuria. Don't worry about the fancy name. Hematuria can occur for different reasons, like kidney stones, kidney problems, a urinary tract infection, UTI, a hit to your kidney, maybe from sports, a swollen prostate, cancer, or something else. If you notice blood in your urine, don't freak out, but do try to set up a visit with your regular doctor as soon as possible. They can check your urine in a lab and might send you to a special doctor called a urologist to figure out why this is happening. Remember, seeing blood in your urine is not normal, so it's better to get it checked out to make sure everything's okay. Your doctor can help you figure out what's going on and how to fix it. Number four, cloudy urine. If your urine looks kind of cloudy or milky, it could mean a bunch of things might be going on inside your body. You might not be drinking enough water, or you could have kidney stones, infections from sexually transmitted infections, STIs, or regular urinary tract infections, UTIs, or something else up with your health. To start, try guzzling more water and see if your urine goes back to being that clear, pale yellow color. If it's still cloudy or you have other weird feelings like urine pain or burning, don't wait around. Reach out to your doctor. They can figure out what's going on and help you feel better. 
it's always best to be safe and get it checked out. Number five, orange colored. If your urine looks orange, it might mean you are not drinking enough water or you could have a problem with your liver or bile duct. It could also be because of things like food coloring or medicines you have taken. So the first thing to do is to drink more water to rehydrate yourself. But if your urine stays orange, it's a good idea to get in touch with your doctor for advice. Number six, blue or green colored. Well, this is definitely unusual. Chances are, it's because of something you ate, like brightly colored foods, or maybe even a medicine you took. But there's also a rare genetic condition that can make your urine look blue or green because of too much calcium. And sometimes, certain pesky bacteria that get into your urinary tract can cause this too. If your urine keeps this color, it's a good idea to go see your doctor. Number seven, foaming urine. If you are a guy who pees standing up, it's usually okay to have a few bubbles in your urine. But if your urine looks super foamy and leaves a layer of foam in the toilet bowl, it might mean there's a lot of protein in your urine. This could be a warning sign of kidney problems, especially if you also feel nauseous, get muscle cramps, urine more often, or notice swelling in your hands, feet, belly, or face. It's important to pay attention to these signs and talk to a doctor if you've noticed them. Number eight, urine, that smells bad. If your urine smells bad, reasons could be because you are not drinking enough water, which can make it smell strong like ammonia. You made certain foods like asparagus, or you are taking vitamins or supplements. It could also be because of a health problem. If you are drinking enough water, have not had asparagus lately, and are not taking any vitamins that might make it smell bad, it's a good idea to see your doctor soon to figure out what's going on. Besides the color and smell of your urine, if you have pain, feel a burning sensation, urgently need to pee, or notice urine leaking, it might mean there's a problem. You should talk to your doctor about these symptoms. How often should you pee? Well, it varies from person to person, but generally, it's considered normal to urinate six to eight times in a day if you are healthy and not pregnant. If you find yourself going to the bathroom more often than that, it might be frequent urination. Sometimes, people confuse frequent urination with a condition called overactive bladder OAB. OAB makes you feel like you need to urinate a lot, even when you don't really have to, or you suddenly feel a strong urge to go. There's also incontinence, which is when you accidentally urine. It's more common as you get older but it can happen for other reasons too. Pelvic floor therapy can help. Remember, peeing is important because it gets rid of waste from your body and keeps everything working smoothly. So take care of your urinary system and your overall health. So, looking at your urine can give you some clues about your health, but when you go for a regular checkup and give a urine sample, doctors can learn even more by analyzing it closely. So when you hand over that cup of urine at the doctor's office, you are actually sharing important health information, which is great for your well-being. Do subscribe to our weekly health channel for more useful health tips.